Hey, FGEC youth, we've been missing you guys. Uh, we apologize we've not come to you with uh, anything sooner. We are planning on doing a group FaceTime and, and chatting with everybody and just seeing how everybody's doing. Uh, unfortunately or fortunately, however you look at it, me and Mandy both have essential jobs. So we have both been working like nothing has happened. So uh, we're not out of school like you guys are. We're not out of work like some people are. We have been working every day. And so we're thankful for that. Uh, obviously, it's a very uncertain time. Uh, a lot of things have happened since we've seen you last. And so we just wanted to come to a video. Uh, we've got some scriptures. Uh, just want to encourage you guys. Obviously, you've got a lot of free time right now. Uh, we just encourage you to not waste that free time. Uh, to use it to get into scriptures, to get in the word, to worship, uh, pray, you know, just all that stuff. And, you know, it's not something you got to do every day, all day, but you guys need to be doing it at least once a day, a couple times a day, you know, and this is just a great, great opportunity of so much free time to be able to seek the Lord. And the, these are uncertain times, uh, end days. Uh, I know that's something that's always sounded kind of out there, kind of futuristic. We, we are in the middle of it. Uh, we, we, we're literally just fulfilling Bible prophecy. So I just encourage you guys to, to keep in tune with what God is doing and, uh, you know, make sure you're safe, make sure anybody that you come in contact with that I know you're not supposed to come in contact with much, but if you're talking to friends, make sure they understand what's going on. You know, we, we, we don't want to leave anybody out, you know, just because we can't see people and can't go to school, we can still be a witness and, uh. You know, right now with our events, uh, we, we're, we don't, we're not 100% on camp. Uh, we know there's a lot of stuff we've canceled already uh, for youth and coming up. Uh, so we just have to watch, pay attention, and we will let you guys know as stuff happens. And as soon as we're able to, we will get back together. We will do things. We will have game nights. We will come over for a movie, whatever we can do. And so uh, we just want to be safe at this point, and we don't want to take chances and make unnecessary risk and spreading anything so uh we just look forward to be able to gather together again and uh, come together as youth and just have some fun we know we're going to need to have some fun after all this is said and done so we've got a few scriptures here to read and we're looking forward to uh, some facetime and some group chats with everybody all right i just wanted to um, encourage you all um i know there's a lot of fear and a lot of panic right now a lot of uncertainty um, if you watch the news or all or, at all or get on social media, you're going to see a lot of people uh, making a big deal, and it is a big deal, but some people are panicking and choosing to be overwhelmed instead of trusting in the Lord and allowing His peace and His joy to cover them. Um, so I just wanted to give you a couple of scriptures uh, because at, it's not just your parents, it's not just the adults' lives that have been altered and changed, yours have been too. Um, your whole schedule's flipped upside down now. You're all of a sudden not going to school in the middle of spring and winter. and um, You're stuck at home. You're not allowed. You, you can't do your sports. You can't um, go to the movies. You can't hang out with your friends. Um, it's completely changed your life too and we don't want you to feel forgotten because there's a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety that could be going um, through your minds and, and your hearts right now. And so I wanted to read a couple scriptures to help encourage you because this uh, pandemic, this epidemic has not taken God by surprise. He knew this was coming. Um, and he has also promised to um, have his hand over his children. Um, if you're saved, if you love the Lord, if you're loving for him, you're covered by the blood. Uh, that doesn't mean that bad things won't happen to you, but that means that you can have, you can rest assured knowing that he's got your back, that you're not ever going to go through anything alone, that he's, he's got a plan for you. Um, so Psalm 34, 4 says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Cry out to the Lord. Tell him what you're scared of. Tell him your fears and your anxieties and your concerns. You may have grandmas and grandpas. You may have uh, people that you're worried about getting this because they're, they're high risk. And um, you can come to the Lord with that and you can, you can bring your fears to him and he'll hear, he'll hear you and he, will he says he'll deliver you from those fears. He'll give you peace that passes all understanding. And what that means is it's a, it's a time where it doesn't make sense to be at peace and to be calm. But because of his peace, you will be. Um, you'll be the calm in the storm. 
Um, people may not understand it, but that will be an opportunity for you to witness to them about the Lord. And pause the video and go get your Bible if you don't have your Bible. Go or the app on your phone works too. But then you have to go back and forth. So yes. go get your Bible. Pause it. It's a video. That's right. I forgot. All right, Philippians 4, 6 through 7, it says, Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance and in everything, by prayer and petition and with thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. Um, it's pretty hard to not have um, any fear and anxiety about anything, but that's what the Lord wants for us. He doesn't want, to live, want us to live our lives in fear, and that's not just during the coronavirus, but that's every day. Because I want you guys to know, you're not going to be isolated and self-distancing, or social distancing for long. This will pass. Um, hopefully. And hopefully. <laughs> no, it will. It will. It won't be forever. It says, And God's peace, which transcends all understanding, like I was talking about earlier, shall garrison and mount guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. He'll settle your mind. You won't have that anxiety and those crazy thoughts running through your mind anymore. Um, Psalm 34, 17 says, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their distress and troubles. He he hears your prayers. He cares for you. He doesn't want you to go through stress and troubles. He doesn't want you to be anxious. He wants you to have peace and have joy, even in the midst of trials and um, scary situations. Um, Psalm 46, 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present and well-proved help in trouble. He's proved himself to his children in the past that he will come through for you in trouble. I want you to believe the same thing about yourself. He will come through for you and your loved ones. You just have to trust him. Pray. Keep your eyes upon him. And he'll bring you through this. And just like Jared said earlier, you know, don't take this time. It's so easy to just take this time to chill and to watch TV and play video games. And there's nothing wrong with that. You should enjoy If you're going to be out of school, you might as well enjoy it. Unless you're stuck doing online stuff, and then kind of sucks. But you can still enjoy being at home. But make the best of it. Take this time to pray for those that are sick with this. Take the time to ask God to deliver our nation and this world from this, to take this pestilence away. Um, I'm going to read a scripture from the Old Testament in Second Chronicles 7, 13 through 14. About it's, it's what been thrown around a lot yeah. over the past few weeks, and you know what, I just... As we really don't know if you've seen it, I've seen it on TikTok even. Uh, I don't know if you guys get on TikTok much still, or if you're looking at that, but there's been a lot of Christian people getting on there and talking about stuff and talking about what's going on. And there's videos with millions of views and millions of likes, you know. So the word's getting out there, and we need to be a part of that. We need to be a part of the, the uprising of the church, you know. And it's just not our church thing it's it's a kingdom thing it's a it's a thing that needs to go on around the world you know i was joking with uh jordan a few weeks ago about how you know we always talk about how illinois the weather's terrible we need to move out of the state you know and i said you know what i said it's crazy because you know this isn't something we can just go move out of illinois and quit dealing with it it's 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 something that's affecting the whole entire united states but then i said it's beyond that it's, it's the whole world there's hardly anywhere in the world you can run to get away from everything that's going on and so you know it's it's something that we just can't push off to the side and ignore we we need to face it and we need to use this time to lift god up and really draw people unto him all right so second chronicles chapter 7 verses 13 and 14 when i shut up heaven and there is no rain or command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among my people it's happening right now did you know that Pestilence means epidemic. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. God is wanting his church to humble themselves. Ask for repentance. Pray, repent, seek his face, turn from their wicked ways. Because there's a lot of sin going rampant right now, not just in the United States, but in the world. And this very well could be a judgment from the Lord. But what we need to do as a church is we need to do what God's told us to do in Scripture. And that's to pray and to repent. We can repent for our nation. We can repent for ourselves. And ask the Lord to, to take away what he said 
in verse 13 is pestilence. Remember, pestilence is an epidemic. So God can take this epidemic away, but we have to do what he said to do, and that's to pray. There's going to be a lot of things that you see as you grow up, um, and not just the coronavirus, but other things will come in the world that can be scary and fearful. But just remember that you're under the Lord's covering. If you're a child of God, you're protected by Him. That, and like I said, that doesn't mean that bad things are, aren't going to happen to you or to your family or around you. But um, the Lord's there with you, and He's there to um, wrap His arms around you and give you comfort and peace as only He can. Um, so as you see things happen and things start to unfold, don't get scared. Don't look at those situations. Don't listen to the media and social media. Get in your word and get in prayer and know what God says about that. All right, guys. Well, again, we miss you. We miss getting to be able to gather together and come together and have fun, have a great time. But uh, hope you're enjoying your time off. Hopefully, everything's going well. If you need to reach out to me or Mandy, or both of us, we'll text us, call us. Uh, we'll be willing to talk, pray with you. Uh, obviously, we can't come over. We can't meet. Whole the whole slew of things going on. But we just hope everything's well. Uh, so we're going to pray on this video, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and make sure you get in your word. So let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for this ability to be able to gather digitally and virtually, God, and we just know that you can go into each one of these kids' homes and comfort them, God. We just thank you for this time today, and we, we pray that the, it blesses them somehow, God, and they're able to get something out of it, and uh, just understand that they don't have to fear what is going on in the world. And we thank you, God, for everything that you, you are doing in these last days, God. And we just pray that you touch this nation, touch this world, God. Uh, continue to give President Trump guidance and and wisdom to be able to navigate us through this, God. And, and whether it's a few weeks from now or whether it's a couple months that we get to gather together again, that uh, we know we're going we're gonna to come and we're going to just lift your name up, God. But even until then, God, we're going to continue to lift up the name of Jesus and magnify you, God, and, and just exalt you in this uncertain time. And we just thank you for everything. And in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Well, we will be FaceTiming and group chatting. We'll be texting you this few coming week, and uh, we'll get some stuff figured out and hopefully try to get some live chat and talk back and forth. And so, guys... Have a good time at home, I guess. We love you. Bye.